From the campus studios of Saarland University, this is Ropecast, a lighthearted podcast for learners of English, with Roger Charlton and Peter Tischer. Hi folks, welcome back to Ropecast. I'm sitting again here with Bobby Pernice. We talked about, well, uh, children's or baby vocabulary last time. Mm -hmm. And I think we left off on, well, let's call it baby poetry. Because, in fact, there's a lot of poetry that yes, you... Yes, of course, yeah. Well, you don't read it to your children. You you sing it or... I read nursery rhymes to my kids. You did? A lot. Oh, yeah, Mother Goose, that kind of thing, sure. What's Mother Goose? Oh, Mother Goose. These are mostly old British children's rhymes, but um, Americans use them too, and they're things like... Old King Cole was a merry old soul, and a merry old soul was he. That's a Mother Goose rhyme. Ah, okay. And, um, very Mother Goose is a book? Mother Goose is really a collection of children's rhymes that are attributed to mm -hmm. someone called Mother Goose. It's just a collection. And these are classics. Yes, yes. Every, I don't know, every American child and probably every British child will probably know them. Yes, of course. Yeah, yeah, okay. sure. Is there no difference between America or... Great Britain in that case? What do you think? Sure, there are also American children's rhymes um, laid on top of that. I think I think we already mentioned one uh -huh. in the last rope cast when I said something about the mooly cow, the rhyme ah. of the mooly cow. That's an American children's rhyme. Ah, okay. um, I couldn't come up with too many off the top of my head, but uh -huh. the mother goose ones, of okay. course, probably Australia, New Zealand, any Anglo um, English speaking. Well, let's see if you know your classics. Oh. Uh, for example, <laughs> lullabies. You sang yeah. lullabies to your daughters? Yes. Rockabye baby, that kind Is of that thing. Is that the classical lullaby <clears throat> to get your children to I think sleep? so. I think so. If if people are forced to come up with a lullaby, that's the one they would find in the back of how, their how minds. How does that go? Rockabye baby in the treetop. When the wind blows, the cradle will rock. I, I, th I think I know that. <clears throat> so, so that's rockabye baby in the it's a recognizable, yeah. Well, somewhat recognizable. Yes. Okay, I'll spare you the rest, folks. <laughs> <laughs> what about uh, what's called finger plays? You know, mm. finger plays are those rhymes that you, well, say to your children while you are, um, well, doing something with your fingers. That's and right, each finger yeah. represents something. Yeah, exactly. Is there any of those? Oh, gosh, yeah, there are so many. Let's, I can think of the itsy bitsy spider itsy spontaneously, bitsy. which is related to our baby talk. Okay, can you do that for us? I, I can do it. It's it's very simple, but for a small child, maybe complicated to put your pinky against your thumb and then sort of just twist your hands and ah, raise them. Okay, and so I put I put my pinky, that's the smallest yes. finger, mm -hmm. against my thumb. Yeah, it's very easy. And then I turn them so that they sort of seem to crawl up on each that's other. That's right, and this hands. is the itsy bitsy spider ah. climbs up the water spout. It's difficult for a small child, though. Okay. Down came the rain, and this is the rain with the fingers coming down. The fingers come down. And washed the spider out. So the spider's so washed the hands away. hands go out to the sides. Yeah, uh -huh. yeah. Out came the sun. Now okay. we have the rays of the sun with the fingers. Oh, okay. And dried up all the rain. Okay. Yeah. And the itsy bitsy spider went up the spout again. Ah, that's a that's cute the one. Itsy bitsy spider. Yeah. Okay, I think we'll put the gestures on the website for for ah, our yes. listeners. Okay. I think that ought to be fun to look at. I mean, mm -hmm. I try to describe it here, but it's kind of hard to do. That's right. There's another classical, let's say, genre for uh, baby poetry, mm -hmm. which is the knee bouncer. Yes. Um, <laughs> <in> ge <laughs> the, the German classic, the real classic, would be Hoppe Hoppe Reiter. Yeah, of that's, course. Uh, you know, that's about someone on horseback riding, yeah, and you yeah. sit the child on your lap, and you'd bounce him at the end, the child would fall off. Which is, of That's course, right. the funnest part yeah. for the kids. Probably kid. want to do it in a helmet these days. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, <laughs> yeah. Pro there's probably a law for it. <laughs> uh, did you do any of those? Huh. Well, spontaneously, the one that we used in our family was I would just do the theme of the William Tell Overture and then hold my kids on and bounce them. Wasn't that used uh, in The Lone Ranger, an old American television show, too? Yeah, I believe yeah. that was used as the theme, and you would see The Lone Ranger with the mask right, riding right. his horse. So that's, that's probably, probably where you got it from, not from Will yeah, Tell. So it was actually a little bit before my time, but yes, I Yeah, did. <laughs> but those were re there were repeats. <laughs> yes, of course. Yes, of course. And, okay. um, but we never had a name for it, but at some point, my older daughter... And 
and I still think this is hilarious, came up to me and said, Mama, please do but a lump. But a lump. But a lump, but a lump, but a lump, but a lump. So ah, she called okay. it but a lump. And, okay. Uh, yes. So, of course, that is the kind of vocabulary that develops within a family. Nobody outside of your family will probably know what but a lump is. Yep. Yep, it's But a your kind daughter of, will still know to this day. I, I think she would. I yeah, think she yeah, would. It's a yeah. kind of an adhesive, isn't it, really, yes. that holds the families. I find that in quite interesting way. that with children, you become very creative as far as expressions, poetry, and all of that goes. You start developing your own. Still, I think if you can think of it, tell me after this podcast, uh, yeah. let's think of an e bouncer, and we'll put it on www.ropecast.de. And okay. so our listeners can look at one of those classic knee bouncing rhymes fun <laughs> okay okay so let's just say goodbye for today thank you but not without telling our listeners that we'll have another rope cast on children's and baby talk and i think we have to address a little bit more difficult vocabulary here which is anything that goes on in the bathroom yes right okay okay, okay. save that so, for another time save that for another time goodbye you've been listening to Ropecast. Brought to you by Saarland University, featuring Roger Charlton and Peter Tischer. Tune in for the next edifying episode on your podcast dial.